Hello learners, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I welcome you back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to see the session 9 of aptitude training. And today's session contains the questions asked by the company LTI in their aptitude round. So let's begin. This is the first question which says, uh, this is of quantitative aptitude type. So first let's read out the question. It says, Reena took a loan of Rs. 1200 with simple interest for as many years as the rate of interest. If she paid Rs. 432 as interest at the end of the loan period, then what was the rate of interest? So, first let's note down all the details or all the values that we have been given. So, first we have given that Reena took a loan of Rs. 1200. So, which means that the original amount or the principal amount is 1200. Which means Reena took a loan of Rs. 1200. So, P is Rs. 1200. Which is the amount which she has or which she has took a loan of with simple interest for as many years as the rate of interest, which means your time period and rate of interest are equal. So rate of interest is equals to time period. If she paid Rs 432 as interest at the end of the loan period, then what was the rate of interest? So we have it has been given that she paid Rs 432 as the interest at the end of the loan period. So what was the rate of interest? So what we need to find out? We need to find out R and we have been given SI, which is the simple interest amount, which is 432. So how do we find out R now? Uh, we have a formula for simple interest, which is Simple interest equals to P into R into T upon 100, which means principal amount into the rate into time period upon 100. So let's substitute all those values given. So SI is given as 3, 432 is equals to P, which is 1200 into R and T is also equal to R. So let's substitute R as T upon 100. So by solving, we will get 432 is equals to 12 because 0, 0 would get cancelled, R square. So R square, if you divide 432 uh, by 12, you will be getting uh, 36. See, 12, uh, 3 is 36, 7, 2, 6 is 72. So you get R square as 36. So R can be plus or minus root 36 which means plus or minus 6. But if you know that rate of interest cannot be negative, correct? So the final answer will be 6. The rate of interest will be 6. So it will be the option number B, which is 6. The rate of interest for this entire period was 6. Okay, so keep in mind this important formula, which can be applied on various questions of simple interest. This is the main formula, which is SI, which is the simple interest amount, is equals to principal amount into rate of interest into time period upon 100. Okay, so let's move ahead with the next question. This is of logical reasoning type and let's read the question first. Consider a man is walking towards north. He takes a right turn. Now towards which direction is he walking? So if you read this question properly, you may think that Oh, just a second, let me adjust the screen. Yes. You may think that he is walking towards north, which means he is walking towards north. This is the north and he takes a right turn and, and the answer should be east. This would be the common thinking of students while solving this question. But it has not been given that the turn, that which is the right turn, is exactly 90 degrees. If you see, then this angle will be exactly 90 degrees. If the angle is 90 degrees, then and only then the answer will be east. Because they have not specified that by how many degrees 
has the man turned right. So, if you see, you're walking towards north. This turn can be here. This is also a right turn because it is in the right direction. Yeah, this is right and this shall be left. Correct. This is also a right turn. This is also a right turn. And this is also a right turn. So, the angle over here can be anything. And this will be the east. Because this entire angle will be 90. So, if the angle is 90, then only the answer will be east. But the angle here is not specified. So, what you will do, the answer will be none of the above. Okay, the answer will be anywhere between north and south. Okay, because if this is north and the man takes right turn from this point, so this shall be anywhere between north and south. Correct? He would be walking anywhere between north and south. The, so the answer would be anywhere between north and south towards right. Okay, this will be the answer, but this answer is not present in the options. So, the answer will be none of the above. Okay, so you need to keep your mind open while solving these type of questions as they have not specified the angle to, uh, through which he has taken the right turn. So, we cannot say that the answer is east. Okay, so the answer will be none of the above. Let's move ahead. So, this is a verbal reasoning question wherein the question is, who is creating this mess? This is a sentence which is given. Change to the opposite voice, which means we have two voices, correct? Active voice and passive voice. So, we need to change to the opposite voice. So, if you notice this sentence, who is creating this mess? This is an active voice, correct? Because it is directly being said. The uh, order of the words in the sentence is according to a proper order. It is straight. So, we need to convert it to the passive voice. So, these are the four options that are given. Let's read out these options. Who has been created this mess? Now, if you notice, who is creating this mess is in the present tense. But, who has been created this mess is a past tense sentence. So, this cannot be the correct answer. Because the word created is past and the word creating is in the present tense. So that is why you this answer cannot be correct because the tense has been changed. The next is by whom has this mess been created? This is also the same case wherein the tense has been changed. Here also we have created. So created is past tense of the verb creating and creating is the present tense. So the option two is also not correct. The third option is by whom this mess being is being created by whom this mess is being created okay here uh, the tense is correct because we have being created being is the word which is used for present tense okay which means the action is being performed now so this is the tense is correct but if you see by whom this mess is being created and by whom is this mess being created so, here is and this, the, the, the form or the position of these two words matters in this case. So, if you see in the original sentence also, we have who is creating this mess. So, followed by the word who, we have is. Similarly, in the option B, D also, by whom is this mess being created? Here, whom is followed by is. So, the option B would be the correct answer because the order of words is also correct and the tense of the sentence is also correct. Okay, so the option 4 is the correct answer for the passive voice of the given question. Let's move ahead. So, this is a logical reasoning question of blood relations. If A is the brother of B and B is the sister of C and C is the father of D. Then how is D related to A? Okay, and these are the four questions that are given. Or sorry, four options that are given. So you can solve this question and comment down the solution in the comment box. We will definitely check your answer and let you know what the correct answer is. Okay, so do understand this question properly and use proper uh, representations and proper relations to denote 
the original relations between them and by doing this you will definitely get the answer so we saw four questions in today's session one one for quantitative then for logical for verbal if you have any doubts in the solved questions you can put it down in the comment section thank you for watching this video uh, do like the video share it and subscribe to our channel thank you